Welcome back to the MLS Review Show. Coming up, we'll head to the Big D, where last year's Golden Boot winner Chris Wondolowski looked to open up his account against the reigning Western Conference champions, FC Dallas. But first, we travel to Ohio, where the Columbus crew welcomed the New York Red Bulls. After dropping a 3-1 result in D.C. to start the season, the Columbus crew were looking to bounce back in front of their home fans. Knowing that the Red Bulls were missing nearly half their starting lineup due to injuries and international call-ups, the Columbus faithful felt good about their chances of taking all three points. But there was some controversy to overcome first. Coach Robert Warziha's decision to start younger Dilly Duke over longtime crew left winger Robbie Rogers in week one brought about some off-the-field drama and the suggestion of a possible Rogers exit. The rumors proved unfounded, though, as Rogers was still with the crew at kickoff time on Saturday. Coming off a hard-fought victory against the Seattle Sounders, New York had a tough task in week two. Five starters left for international duty, and French superstar Thierry Henry was absent due to a hamstring strain. So the depth at Hans Bakke's disposal, thought to be among the best in the league, was sure to be tested against the physical crew side. New York fans got their first look at new signing Luke Rogers after he was forced into action despite not being match fit. Glenn Davis and Shep Messing called the match. Game on here in Columbus, the New York Red Bulls against the Columbus crew. Peruvian Andreas Mendoza delivers it. The header from Marshall. Into the box, Mendoza picked off by Horvath. Johnny now, self passed beautifully around Rushmir. Tony Johnny still on a run here. Took a shot, deflected back to Chani and goes right at goal, but Hesmer collects for Columbus. The ball shit, who's got a lot of room here. Ekbo in front of him. Nice ball to Ekbo. Columbus to make it one. Save Horvath. It wasn't hit well by Ekbo. Into the box it comes. Rushmir's there. Top of the box. Ekbo pulled a shot wide. Another good chance for Columbus. Heinemann. Mendoza's trying to get into the box. Heinemann takes a shot. Flashes by the post. Lindpair, 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 shot the save. Hesmer got a left hand on it. And that'll do it. The New York Red Bulls pick up a point on the road without some of their superstars like Thierry Henry. Hans Bach and company get the result they want. This is a day where it galvanizes a lot of young players because now they feel a part of something very important. The New England Revolution opened up 2011 on a high note, grabbing a point on the road against last year's Supporter Shield winners, the LA Galaxy. Team captain and perennial all-star, Charles Reed Joseph, netted the Revs' goal just three minutes into the match. Head coach Steve Nichols' decision to start Joseph at attacking midfield surprised many observers, but it proved to be the right call, as the Revs earned an unexpected point at the Home Depot Center. Heading home to Gillette Stadium, the Revs looked to stay on the right track, as DC United and the feel-good story of the year so far came to town. Charlie Davies' two goals were a treat for soccer fans across the country, but most important for DC, they provided a season-opening victory. The comeback tale turned another page as Davies headed back home to New England, where he was born and played his college soccer. But Davies wasn't the only character in United's early story. From a goalkeeper coming out of retirement to the goal-scoring exploits of a forgotten forward, D.C. got key contributions from many players. Head coach Ben Olsen led his side into Foxborough confident and hopeful of earning his second consecutive victory against an Eastern Conference opponent. Brad Feldman and Jay Heaps called the match from Gillette Stadium. Baldomero Toledo, the man in the middle, and he whistles the start of proceedings. Well, now we're underway. The Revs home schedule 2011 as the captain, Shawry Joseph, floats it forward. Eighth minute no score here as Joseph pumps it forward for Shalowski to touch off the arm. Still going. Shalowski into the net. It's a goal. No handling. He used the right foot to give the Reds the lead as the fourth goes absolutely nuts to the second year man, Zach Shalowski. The Zach attack is back. It is. Look at Zach Shalowski. It does. It pops up, hits his arm, but continues on. A little bit of an advantage there. I think Toledo may want to call that one back, but I don't think he was a position. That ball came from Shari Joseph from about 40 yards away, and it found Zach. Boggs header back in. Francesco got there before Joseph. Appeal for a penalty, and it's given. 
The Reds with an opportunity to go up 2-0. The DC players absolutely livid after Phelan went down. And here, we're gonna get a look of it. He jumps right through, and there's a lot of boot there on his knee. Pat Phelan beats him to the ball. Joseph with an opportunity to double the Reds' lead. The captain's run up. It's in! Onstead got a paw to it, but not enough to keep it out of the net. Joseph with his second goal of the year, and the Reds off to a great start. Their home opener up 2-0. Charlie Joseph puts just enough on it to get it by him there. Guess is right. Just not enough, only a fingertip. Birch centers it. The layoff, Pontius runs onto it and hammers it into the fourth. That was a rising fastball. But look at this touch. Now that's world class. It just hits it over the bar. Spinner, great ball for Davies. He cuts it back, running onto it. Pontius stinks it, and a good save by Reese going to his left. Looking athletic in doing so. McCarty's delivery, a spinner. Reese flails at it. Penalty. A penalty. This is a good build up here. What are we looking for? It looks like he may have, have called Cochran it on Cochran on there. Yeah. It's going to be a short run up for the right foot of Davies against Reese. Strikes it into the net. 2 1. DC has cut the lead in half. And that sets up an interesting finish here in stoppage time. Here's another look at the penalty kick. Well, wow, class penalty kick from Charlie Davies. Goes right down the middle, delays it just enough. Horn pops it forward. Offside flag is up. Oh, man, uh, that's a cheap shot there by Yakovich. And that's going to bring some afters. Yakovich and Cochran comes in hard. It's red. Yakovich is off. Yeah, look, that's, that's, a, it, that's it, not a red it's card. It's not a red card. <laughs> not it's a, red a foul. Card. It's a foul. It's a yellow card. Give it to him. Look, that is, hey, look, he shoves his arm. Well, let me just ask you this, Jay. If Reese goes down on the turf and does his knee, do you say it could be a red card? The referee checks his watch. And blows the whistle for full time. The Reds win their fifth straight home opener. Two to one the final. Following the break, the review showed Jets West to Salt Lake City, where two Western powers collide in the match of the week.